Welcome back to Ministry Minute. Today's topic is a good one, salvation. People wonder what salvation is. Well, to answer your question, salvation is the saving of your eternal soul from sin by Christ Jesus our Lord. Jesus came to this earth to save humanity. God sent his son to this earth to die on the cross so our sins might be forgiven. He shed his blood so we might be saved. He was buried and he rose with all power on the dirt day. That's the gospel, the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. God loves you so much that he sent Jesus to die for you. A lot of people don't understand that there is more than one part to truly being saved. You have to have faith in Jesus Christ, believing he died for our sins and that we are saved by his grace. You have to repent of your sins, which simply means confessing that we are sinners and asking God to forgive us. With the help of God's Spirit, we will be able to turn away from our sinful ways and turn toward His righteousness. When we repent, we open the door to God's forgiveness. Next, you have to be born again by the water and of the Spirit. Being born of the water is baptism, and it's not optional like most people think. You must be baptized. Being baptized is burying your old life in the grave, which is represented by the water like Jesus was buried in the tomb. And when you rise from the water like Jesus rose from the grave, you are walking in a new life. Another part is spiritual baptism. Now, spiritual baptism is what we call the Holy Spirit or the Holy Ghost. And this, too, is an essential part of salvation. Receiving the gift of the Holy Spirit is the Spirit of Christ working in us, anointing us with the power to be witnesses for Him. This also gives you the power to speak in your heavenly language, as people call it, speaking in tongues. Some people think others are possessed when they speak in tongues, but that is simply not true. Speaking in tongues is just a part of the Holy Spirit working in you. People may not understand what you're saying, but God does. You also need to live holy. You can't just be saved and not live right before God. You need to stay in prayer and fasting and grow deeper in God's word and let the Holy Spirit lead you to where God wants you to go. I'm going to leave you with these scriptures. Romans 10, 9 says, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thine heart that God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. And John 3, 3-7 three through seven says, Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of the water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I say unto thee, Ye must be born again. Jesus loves you. Receive him as your Lord and Savior today.